on today's video I'm gonna be doing an updated foundation routine and this one is really different from any of the other foundation routines that you guys have ever seen me come out with because this is the first one that is not full coverage but it's perfect for people that have acne scarring or um, active blemishes and all of that because it still gives you a very full coverage but without using a full coverage foundation I'm kind of pairing a where is it here it is my tinted moisturizer by Sonia Kashuk which I love absolutely love it gives a really pretty glow to your skin and I'm pairing that up with a concealer which I'm gonna show you guys later on in the video so maybe I shouldn't hold it all up now but basically this is what I do every single day before work or school the whole thing takes me about 10 minutes in the morning and that's including everything my eyes my lips my brows everything takes me about 10 minutes I'm not the kind of person that wants to wake up and uh, spend like 45 minutes on my makeup especially when it's early in the morning so this is a really fast easy routine I show you guys everything from start to finish when I start the video I have hardly any makeup on just my eyebrows on and my eyeliner and uh, the rest I kind of do it all on camera so yeah like I said the coverage is really really good I show you guys my bare skin in the video so you could see but right now um, all my type of scarring or any type of um, hyperpigmentation is completely camouflaged so this is what the finished look looks like um, and if you want to see how I got this look from start to finish and keep on watching I just want to mention really quick um, what I'm wearing in case I get any questions I'm not gonna show you guys everything because I'm a little bit bummy today hence the ponytail but um, you know you know how it is just wearing let me try and get you guys down a little bit this thermal sweater from forever 21 which I really like wearing um, baggy type of clothing lately with tighter leggings I can't go down that low but it does cover my butt and then I just have little black leggings on nothing special this is what the sleeves look like I just push them up um, and this necklace is my monthly piece from Jewel Mint. I love it. It's so pretty. I really feel like it gives a really nice spring feel to the whole outfit. So this is what it looks like. And I have a discount code for you guys down below that I will include as well as all the Jewel Mint info on how it's a monthly service and, and all the information about this necklace. So with that being said, uh, if you want to see how I got my skin to look like this from start to finish, then just keep on watching. Okay, so let's get started. So far, all that I have on are my eyebrows and a little bit of eyeliner in my waterline, which is actually NYX French Fries, and it looks like this. It's a really pretty bronze color, and I put this every day in my waterline. And if you're interested on how I do my eyebrows, I actually have a couple routines up because I like to update you guys. I kind of change it pretty often. But right now, what I use is this Revlon Color Stay Brow Pencil. I only use this side, which is a tinted wax. It looks like an eyebrow pencil, but it's a tinted wax. If you want to see how I did my eyebrows like this, I will link it down below. And other than that, I have my moisturizer on, which I just want to show you guys really quick. I'm not going to put more on because I already have it on. But I use the moisturizer that's a part of Acne.org's system. And the whole reason that I'm even doing this updated foundation routine is because everything has changed because I don't need that heavy coverage anymore that I needed when I had um, acne, basically. So this is my skin now, and I have never felt as comfortable as I do now um, being on camera or going out without any makeup on because... This system really cleared up my skin and I'm not sponsored in any way. I paid for the system over and over with my own money. Um, I have a full review on this but I just want to show it to you guys really quickly. It's um, basically just three items and one is the cleanser which I use every morning and every night. Then I use the treatment and the moisturizer. So I have actually my sister did like a little guest um, review on my channel. She doesn't have a channel or anything but she just really wanted to talk to you guys about this product and she got me hooked on it and now my skin is seriously the, the best that it's ever been. So anyway that's the moisturizer that I have on and what I'm gonna do first instead of using a primer on my skin um, this is the best that I've found for my skin type. I have very oily skin. So what I have right here is a little bottle of Milk of Magnesia and just a little buffer brush like this from Bare Essentials. And I'm just going to spray it right on the brush. The sprayer is a little bit all over the place. So, Okay, so I just try to get like that much on my brush. And I pretty much dab this on places where I get oily throughout the day. So mostly my nose right in the middle of my cheeks and a little bit on my forehead. 
Okay, so for the next step, I am going to be using my fingers, so you want to make sure that your hands are very clean. And I'm going to be using the Tinted Moisturizer, the Radiant Tinted Moisturizer by Sonia Kashuk, and I am in the color beige. And I seriously love this stuff. It just really gives your skin a really pretty glow to it. So I'm going to use about that much. I'm just going to put it in between my fingers and pat it on. And this is the first... Um, tinted moisturizer that I've ever used and it's also the first thing that I put on my face with my fingers. The coverage looks like and it's pretty sheer but it still gives a little bit of coverage but not too much. So what I like to use after that is my Hard Candy Glamouflage um, Concealer and I just use this for under the eyes. I just use about that much for each eye because this stuff is really really high coverage. so just to help blend that out I'm just taking my F80 from Sigma and I'm just it's clean I have nothing on it I just like to blend it in a little bit more just to make sure that there's no harsh lines okay and the next step is really optional depending on what your skin type is like now I have some times of the month where my skin you know breaks out and I have a little bit of blemishes on my cheeks and sometimes throughout the month they have nothing to worry about so it really depends on what um, part of the month it is, but I sometimes go a step further by putting a little bit of a concealer on my cheeks. And this is actually a foundation. If you guys watch my videos for a while now, you know all about this. It's a CoverGirl Aqua Smooth um, Makeup in Buff Beige. And mine is almost gone. It looks kind of gross now. But um, even though it's a foundation, it works like a concealer. The coverage is so, so heavy. So I, I like to use this just a little bit. Hardly you can even see it on my brush. And what I do is I just tap this on my extra trouble spots and that really gives me like flawless 100% coverage. So the next step is finishing everything off with a powder. Um, since I have oily skin, I like to do this. If you have more dry skin, you can completely skip this step. But I'm going to be using the e.l.f. Flat Top Powder Brush, which I just picked up recently and I love it. It's so soft and I really like that it's flat so I can pack the powder in instead of sweeping it on because I feel like it stays a lot longer when I do that. And then I'm using... Um, Prestige's Multitask Wet Dry Powder Foundation. So it is a powder, but it has a little bit more coverage to it. And this is in the color Wheat, which is not my color. It is really light for me, but since I only put a little light dusting of it on, it's okay. Okay, then using the same brush, I like to apply a little bit of bronzer. Bronze, bronzer? My favorite bronzer, a favorite bronzer, which is by Smashbox, and it's um, just a powder, it's called Medium medium M2, so it's darker than my skin tone, so it really gives me just a nice, pretty um, golden glow, so I just put a little bit on my forehead, temples, down the bridge of my nose, kind of do a little contouring and bronzing thing at the same time to save time, at the cheekbone. And chin and on the other cheekbone and to be honest with you guys I don't really wear a blush on a daily basis because in the morning I'm usually rushing and I just don't have time to mess with that many steps but I do like to put a little bit of a highlighter just to give my skin a little bit more of a glow so you guys um, have heard of this before in one of my favorites videos it's the motives shaped and sculpt um, duo pressed powder and it comes with a matte bronzer and a matte highlighter and I just love the highlighter because it's my first matte highlighter that I've ever used before and I really like the look of it because it's more it looks more natural because your skin doesn't sparkle on its own so this kind of just gives a little bit of a light it's like a light soft glow focus on it so I really like this stuff and then with what's left over on my brush I usually go right under my eye and it really brightens that area up as well. So what I'm going to do next is just put on my liquid eyeliner, my mascara, and my lipstick. And I'll be right back to show you guys the finished look. Okay guys, and that is the finished look. In case you guys are wondering what I put on my lips, it is 903C by Wet n Wild, which is a really pretty peachy color. And um, I kind of 
didn't really explain what I was doing um, with my eyeliner and my mascara because that same video that I linked down below that um, shows you how I do my eyebrows also shows you how I do my lashes and my liquid liner. So I got a lot of questions on that so I decided to just do a separate video so I could just link you guys down below so you could see how I did that. So basically this is what I do every single day um, before work, before school. It really, it's really fast. It, it takes me about 10 minutes every single day to um, do all of this before I start my day. So I just wanted to show you guys I really love this new routine because it kind of gives a glow to the skin. Um, I think it's really pretty and better than full coverage foundation because it, it lets your skin breathe at the same time and it kind of showcases like your natural beauty and glow of your skin. So um, yeah, that's the finished look and that's pretty much it. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram. I am taking a little bit of a Facebook break for now, but I will be back. Um, and for now, I'm really, really addicted to Instagram for iPhone um, or I think Blackberry can have it too, but it's official underscore mommy chula. I will put um, the information of that also down below as well as anything else that I forgot in this video. So I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you all soon. Bye.